my son Sam and his so-called fiance Shannon. They're unfit, ill-equipped, negligent parents, and it's been that way since Conrad was born. Sam and I are not unfit parents. If we were unfit parents, we wouldn't have our daughters. I don't think Shannon had any interest in being a mother. When I first had him, I was barely 18. I didn't know how to vote, let alone be a mom. Shannon was doing everything she could for Conrad, and so was I. He's thirsty too, look at him. He's really thirsty. Over and over again, I saw things that made me question Sam and Shannon's ability to raise my grandson. I would go over to their place and there would be dishes with mold, empty pizza boxes with maggots, garbage bags stacked up. There would be nasty diapers, bottles that were full of fuzzy mold in the nipples. It was disgusting. I had postpartum anxiety at the time. It was hard to connect with Conrad. It made it difficult to clean and even just get up to take a shower because I was constantly full of anxiety. Every time I picked Conrad up, I had to immediately give him a bath. He was dirty. He was smelling of urine. He was smelling of spoiled milk. He had dirt underneath his little toenails. One day after I picked him up, I changed his diaper and noticed bruises on his tailbone. It was right in this area and it kind of like curved around a little bit, I guess. I've never physically abused Conrad, ever. It was actually a birthmark and it had been there since he was born. Shannon was irresponsible and uncaring about the welfare of her child. Well, Kim claims not only were they raising her grandson in a pigsty, but their relationship was so volatile that she was forced to step in and take drastic action using a SWAT team to protect him from his own parents. Sam and Shannon, they were constantly fighting, breaking up, getting back together, and poor little Conrad was stuck in the middle of all of it. Sam and I fought a lot back then, and we admit that. One night, Sam called me and said that Shannon was trying to leave and take Conrad with her to a battered women's shelter. I begged her not to go to come and stay with me, but instead she flew to Kansas where her mother lives. My son immediately filed for an order of protection and drove 600 miles to Kansas. With the help of police and a SWAT team, my son and I got Conrad back. Shannon returned to Illinois within the week and she and Sam were back together again. I was furious. Because of the instability and volatility in their relationship, DCFS suggested that I obtain guardianship of Conrad. You're like Superman! So I contacted an attorney. After all of that, Kim convinced us to sign over guardianship to her or Conrad would end up in foster care. When we signed that agreement, we didn't really read it through because we trusted her. I was able to get permanent guardianship within about 30 days. We thought that once we were on our feet that it would be a temporary solution and we would be able to get him back once we were ready. She tricked us. She saw the opportunity to have another baby and she took it. <laughs> 